This is a video tutorial in Tracker 4.85 to show how you can interpret some of these motions in the right panel such as the velocity in the X, velocity in the Y and AX. So this is a complex motion of a basketball being thrown hitting the board and then hitting the ground eventually after several bounds. So this is uh, one of the ways you can interpret the data. So I can check on the velocity vector to allow the visualization of the velocity because the question asked was how can I interpret the Vx and Vy. So there are many of these values that are difficult to understand. So by track by allowing the visualization of the velocity vector, you can now see that the velocity vector is quite short. So I make the velocity vector to be stretched by a multiplying effect of 6 perhaps and see how this can be overlaid on the real video. So you can see that this various arrow heads uh, to show you the magnitude and direction of the velocity, which actually is not shown. So I will toggle the V vector. So you can see at the bottom right corner of the screen, uh, this is the, actually the velocity vector. And actually the Vx is actually the velocity in the x direction. The Vy is the velocity in the y direction. So you can see that when it hits the wall, it rebounds. It will hit the wall and hit the hoop. And this is where the velocity actually now goes to the positive x direction. So you can see that the Vx now is positive. And the uh, velocity in the y direction is actually beginning to be near zero. But as it falls after the hoop, you can find that the velocity now gets larger. And the Vx is actually quite small because there is no move movement of the basketball in the x direction. So after several bounds, you will see that actually the Vx graph is actually quite meaningful because the gradient here allows you to understand that the motion under free fall undergoes constant acceleration as illustrated by the straight line gradients in the Vx graph but in the Vy graph is relatively flat and zero so I'm going to zoom to fit and uh, teach you how you can normally visualize this so we normally toggle the x Vx and AX graph so that I can see all the all the three quantities in the same direction. So you can see that the X actually is starting from zero but slowly decreasing and you can see that it's relatively a straight line so it seems to suggest that the throwing of a basketball is actually a motion without any horizontal acceleration. And when it hits the board you can see that there's a small hum in the X direction indicating that it has moved forward to the right and when you see it move, continue to move is now relatively fairly constant x direction but in the v v x direction you can see that the velocity is relatively flat uh, but there's some movement okay uh, so what, what is meaningful in this case will be now let's look at the y v y and a y so these are what uh, typically term as useful physics to be analyzed so you can see that the y actually is increasing uh, and the increasing is actually uh, the you can see from the y graph is actually a, a, a quadratic graph and uh, a y should be rel relatively at a value of uh, negative 9.81 which you can see from the gradient but not so much from the a y graph so there's a lot of fluctuation uh, but behind this fluctuation from the a y graph you need to actually look at the v y uh, the v y graph to look at the gradient to determine the acceleration so at the point where it hits the ground you can see that there's actually several useful physics concepts that can be illustrated so there's this the lowest point in the y graph and you can see a Vy is start to increase from negative to positive value and in the Ay actually there's a there's a very large peak which gives you uh, indication of the value of the impact force because f equal to ma so if Ay is large therefore Fy is large and after several bounds you can see that these are your typical secondary school graph 